Greetings, greetings, greetings. We will be getting this show rolling in just a moment. This is Beast Mode. I am the man behind the OBS this evening. And we will be having an awesome show match here between ESL quarterfinalist Domdis and our very own Ziggy D.
Kevin uh, Cookies has entered the premises. Hey, what's up, buddy? How goes it? We are live, just so you know. Oh, okay. I didn't know that. <laughs> we are just waiting for... Natty? Yeah, waiting for a good old Maddie J. We'll get this show rolling. Yeah. Just give me one second. I'm just trying to adjust volume settings and all that. Sure Can you hear me all right? How, how's it from my end? Is it okay? Yeah, not bad. Okay. All right, that should, should be good enough. Yeah, I get to cast with Natty. This is going to be so much fun. Good old Matty J. How about the how about the tournament itself? But uh, yeah, you, do you want to do that too? Yeah, yeah I, I can't. Yeah, sure. I was just I just wanted to say I didn't check the brackets last night. I don't know who actually made it. That's fine. I was curious. Oh, LBYS is still in. Yeah, oh, man, cool. he's killing it. Oh, and Flamingo? I know him. Do you? Yeah, seven. Okay. Oh, and, uh, Michael. He's a guy I lost to. It's, uh, JT Mondo's teammate. We were, we were all in the same group. Oh, really? Yeah. That was, like, group of death. It was awful. I was like really salty because best of threes kind of kills my strategy a bit, and I was a little salty about that. And then I was salty about going one, two in groups. And then, you know, I just sat back, thought about it for a second. I was like, you know, at least I lost to good players, you know? Mm hmm. So, yeah, hopefully, hopefully you can like redeem me. Although. No, LBYS has to win. And then if he doesn't, then Michael has to win. It's the it's the rule. Alright, um I'm gonna go grab a drink before we get everything started and all that. Do it. How is everybody doing today? Hopefully it's a fantastic day for everyone. Wompy. Haha. <laughs> Good old Wompy.
All right, Matty J says five minutes and he's ready to go. How's the sound coming out? Chat, chat, give me a read. Pretty low. Interesting. How about now? Is that any better? Kevin's voice is booming all the time, so we'll get him rolling. Plugged in my phone. That's what she heard. Yes, 5 p.m. PST is in one hour. So we do the show match and then we get everything going. Yeah, no problem. No problem at all. Right, sending the link to Matty J in chat. I'm going to get a picture of Dombus here. Such a handsome fella he is. Played this weekend at ESL. Everyone, Kit Kats was like, he's just a, a handsome man. It's true. Kevin is nowhere to be found. you Kevin are you back uh, I just came back yeah Ooh, so much volume so much volume is it loud that's yeah, alright that was on me I turned it down oh okay does that mean Maddie's here 
Maddie is not here just yet. Maddie, please. Maddie J. Hello, Maddie. sir. Hi, Maddie. Oh, hey, Kevbo. <laughs> What's up, buddy? How are you, sir? I'm upset that you didn't stream yesterday, Matt. Dude, it's my day off. Maddie, please. What are you I doing? I, I'm I'm busy on Tuesdays, man. Tuesdays like my uh my busy day, because otherwise I would just be casting the tournament. Maddie, you make me sad. <laughs> I'm sorry. Nah, dude, Maddie, Maddie's, uh, Maddie's the man. Why can't I get a good picture of Dombus? One of, he's so handsome. He needs to be up here on the screen. <laughs> Let's see. Let me message Dombus. Preparing battle friend. Okay. I'm gonna grab. I took a picture of Ziggy this week. He was hard at work coaching. I'm gonna save this picture here. And if I suck at OBS, it's just it's so counterintuitive to me. Why? In what regard? I don't know. I just don't like it. I, you know what? Screw it. Never mind. <laughs> If Ziggy doesn't bring a rogue deck, I'll be really, really sad. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, so Matt, do you know much about Dombus? He was an ESL quarterfinalist from this past week. Uh, I don't know much about him other than what I saw this okay, weekend. You got a chance to watch the tournament? Yeah, I watched him versus uh, Demigod. That's pretty much the only time I saw him. Cool, cool. Yeah, I know nothing about him. Well, he uh, he and Jaron and Ryan WW Lows or Double Lows as we've uh, coined him now was a uh, th they all were kind of inseparable. It was really unfortunate to hear Dondis got it, had to be paired with with Demigod in the first match of the quarterfinals because they uh, they really got along. You know, Dondis is a really awesome guy, and he is a medical researcher, I believe, down in Irvine. So he was local to the event, and he had a week where he was he qualified and played through week one, I believe, but then he didn't make it. I think he was eliminated by Raynad, and then he made it through the last chance qualifier also. So he kind of had two shots at it. Oh, cool. I'm very excited to see what Ziggy is going to bring. He's, like, very known for... For those of you who don't know Ziggy, he's very known for bringing really weird, creative things. I um, love that. He's a, he's a rogue main, so... I'm really hoping that he decides to bring some funky rogue deck. <laughs> I uh, I just started playing rogue today. <laughs> and, when I, and when I say I mean I just started playing it, I think I have 19 rogue wins. So... Uh, uh, yeah. I uh so I'm always excited to see different rogue things. All right, so let me go. I finally got my screen share working. So I'm going to You guys good? You see it? Uh I see it now. Yeah. Yes, sir. Now, why won't it let me stop this is cards? I really, if this is Murloc, I will be so overjoyed. Have you guys been noticing Spectate has just been busted? Um, it, yeah, it will be broken. So here's what you have to do. You have to, um, so when you go to Spectate, whoever we're spectating, so we're spectating Domdus, send Ziggy a message and you have to tell him to invite you to Spectate him. That's the only way. 
it's the that it will work. Way. Yes, that way I guess I, it makes sense for like no. Oh. Yeah. Right. This way, but this way, both players know that you're watching them. All right. Well, I will shut up and let you guys do your thing now. All right. Awesome. Murlocs. It is Murlocs. All well, right. Murlocs. Who is excited? So, so it looks like Ziggy brought uh, Handlock. Is that double BGH? Double BGH Handlock. <laughs> Have fun. <laughs> it seems like um. Ironic. That there's two VGHs in handlock. I and appreciate I appreciate the irony. Even even more so that he has them both in his hand. Did we just see a rope? Did Ziggy miss his turn? Or maybe he did it on purpose. <laughs> maybe he's baiting him, who knows? My spectator is so glitch. I'm trying to watch on client, and it's so glitch. All right. Murloc, War Leader, and Grim Scales, and Double Arcane Golem. This is awesome. Yeah, I'm really excited about all these, um, all these Murlocs. Is he just going to get overrun before he can... It's very do, possible. Before he can do it. He has no... He has uh, just the belchers, but nothing else. Yeah. Or the taunts. Is that... Wait, what is the four... What's the four drop up top next to the Watcher? Uh, is that the Argus? Yeah, it looks like Argus. Yeah. Okay, it is the Argus. It's hard to tell what cards are when you have so many in your hand sometimes. Yeah, right? It's so true. Wait, did you just pick that... I mean... Wait, did he just put... Oh, he had another one anyway. Never mind. Yeah. Never mind. Yeah, he has, he has two. Could you imagine if Dom just picked up uh, Iron Beak Owl? Like a I mean, one? Iron Beak Owl would just be ridiculous. That would be... Iron think, Beak Owl number two. <laughs> I think he would just be done. Now, is he just going to go for it? Or is he going to like leave him hang at 13? I would go for it. Um, I mean, the only difference is he can Argus a giant versus Sun Fury a giant. Yeah. So if you if you do it, you just go. Ooh. Hmm. That that would that would make me tempted to just probably go for it. How much damage does he have? He has two four charges, so eight, and then he has this. twelve damage next turn. Um, without yeah. taunts. Okay. No taunts. I mean, without, yeah, without board is what I'm saying. He's going to have to taunt, but... Wait, he just... Is he going to lose because of that? No, he's going to be one off, right? Yeah, because... Wait, Dom just didn't attack in last time, right? I don't think he attacked in. No, he didn't. He didn't. Not with the out. Uh, if he did, he would have won. Yeah, if he did, he would have won. However, if he did, he probably just would have played Molten Ancient Taunt. Yeah. No, he would be one mana off on doing that. No, he has a coin, too. He would. That's what he would have done. That's what I would have done. So I assume that's probably what he would have done. Double Molten Taunt. Yeah. It's going to be pretty strong here. I'm ready for Domdus to pick up... Uh... Um, Dark Bomb. Dark Bomb Soulfire. Gotta believe. Oh, wow. He had to BGH the, uh, BGH the Murloc. Yeah. Never good. If you have to BGH a Murloc... Well, I, you say that, but look at the situation. Uh, yeah. Yeah, definitely. Um, he can't. He, yeah, he can't break through everything. Um, 
Oh, no, wait, he has... No, he can. He can, but he's not going to win. He's not going to win this turn, but he's going to set it up so he can win. Um, I mean, Ziggy's going to be able to shut him down with the Belcher, but it's still going to be... I think it's going to be pretty tough for Ziggy to win this. He basically just went all in on that last hand. Mm -hmm. So right now, Dom just has the Dom just has exactly full with the Arcane Soulfire. Um, but we're going to see the Belcher. We're, we're going to. See, he's going to be able to trade the whole board. And then Drake play, He's going to be able to play a Drake and a Belcher, trade the whole board. Yeah. So Dom just wins with an owl. Dom just wins with a Dark Bomb. Exactly. You need Dom, damage or silence. Dom just maybe wins with a second Soul Fire. Maybe. Yeah, Ooh. maybe. So do you just play out your three minions and keep your win condition in your hand? Or do you drop the arcane? I think you just I think you just hang on to it. Yeah. It's pretty clutch that he can just silence the, the weapon on. Yeah, he's just gonna clear board again. Yeah, he's gonna have to well he doesn't have to silence the leper gnome, especially now with the heal bot. Let's see if he does. I think he probably saves the silence. You could silence the ancient. I'm pretty sure that heal bot's a winner though. Uh, um. Yeah, Heelbot just won him the game. Yeah. Like he Dom, went, Dom just had a small chance if he drew direct damage or silence, but once yeah. the pull went off, that was, that's just it. Yeah, and uh, 8, 9, 10. Yeah, he is lethal on board with the owl, of course. So Ziggy is going to take it. Huh? Doesn't that leave? Oh, no, yeah, Al. Just kidding. Just kidding. So, that's it. Ziggy takes it. Um, he had a really nice comeback there. Uh, like Handlock usually does. Yeah. If, Han damned. if Handlock has at least, like, one Molten and Taunt, and you don't really have an answer for it, you, you stabilize, you can come back pretty strong. Mm -hmm. And he had both Moltens, which is just so tough to deal with, especially with, it looked like Domnus' deck was um, pretty pretty aggro, YOLO, face, Murloc, yeah. other face cards. <laughs> so um, if Hamlock has the answer for that kind of deck, they just can't win. Yeah, well, I mean, Hamlock had... Double Belcher, double Molten Giant with Taunt, a heal bot, you know. Like Don Domus did almost pull it out. Oh yeah. If Ziggy didn't draw so well into the mid game, Dom just would have won it. Just like Ziggy drew pretty much everything he needed just to hold off, you know. Yeah, he stacked up his cards pretty nice. So we have double wild growth for the druid, which is Domdus. First, what looks to be a uh, mid-range hunter. You got the double hound master. Um, probably going to curve up into like high main Dr. Broom. I assume. So. It's a really good druid hand. It's a really good druid hand. It's a really good hunter start. So. Yeah. Um. That second wild growth is pretty much going to be a dead card now. He's going to just use that for card draw. He's going to have to go. Uh, let's see here. He's probably going to have to just go Belcher. Swipe isn't. Swipe can get rid of everything except the scientist, and you still will have a 2 1. But... Right. Swipe coin hero power. Swipe coin hero power is pretty good. I kind of like it. Yeah, I honestly, I like developing a little bit more. Yeah, I'm very. I'm the type of player who's very paranoid about clearing boards. So. Yeah, I like I like developing as well. Yeah. I like having a board established and then being able to swipe and yeah. being left with something. So, wow, he made a 5-5 five, five, uh, web spinner, which is pretty great. Looks like my play was correct, huh? <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> 
still a good swipe. Yeah, still a good swipe. Now, do you face tank the five and then put the two four into? So we are gonna assume that's freezing. Is that freezing? I'm I'm saying it's freezing. Oh, uh, hang on, let me check. It is snake trap. Ooh. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah, it's a bummer. We just burnt that swipe. Natural mistake, he says. Yeah. <laughs> and so, um. Oh, Dr. Boom is not going to be good for Domdis. Uh, it looks like, so you probably, if you're the hunter, you probably just, yep, slam Lotheb. And um, you're going to be pre in pretty rough spot. So you're going to have to go, do you, do you go lore for heal here? Uh, I think you're kind of screwed either way. Uh, yeah. I And if you have to go lore for heal, I mean, you and I have both played enough Druid, Kevin. We know yeah. that you're in trouble if you have to go yeah. lore for heal. Yeah. That's and it looks like Ziggy's just gonna steamroll this one too. Um, they should hit Gazrilla as many times as they as they can. Just try to make his make big. it as big. Yeah. yeah, hit it for five or face tank it first, then hit it for five. Aww. So he's gonna still live, but he's not gonna be living very well. Yeah. Dr. Boom's going to come down next turn. Uh, unless, uh, actually, that might be lethal with... Well, I think he had lethal okay. anyway. Six, seven, Six, seven, seven, eight, nine, plus two hounds. 10, 11, 12, 13. Yeah, he did have lethal with hounds and, okay. hounds and hero power. Yeah, he didn't need to kill command. Gazrilla, go. My apologies. <laughs> nice, nice. And I'm glad they're being playful or at least Ziggy is <laughs> oh yeah yeah one thing I did love absolutely loved was on ESL this weekend when um uh Domdis and Demigod first sat down for their first game mm -hmm. and they all went through the emotes with each other yeah yeah <laughs> for like 30 seconds they were just emoting each other I loved that the announcers loved that I'm sure everybody loved that so yeah. um Oh, here's Rogue. Yay. Snap is a really great card to have. Ooh, Black Knight. I love it. Tom just should play, uh... Tom just should play, um... Major Domo Executus Mage. That's what he should be doing. A nice innervate. He doesn't have creatures, though. You know, you really want to go fast in the creatures. Although, I, I guess he does have Ancient of Lore. Um... Yeah, he has the lore. I, now, he's going to be able to play the Keeper. He'll probably silence that. Maybe. He could also... Ah, uh, you'd hate to see him. I think you just Wrath it. You Wrath for three, clear it with the Zombie Chow, and just go face for one. Because you want to save the Innervate. You want to Innervate into cards next turn. Yeah. I guess, I mean, there's, there's some merit to Innervating into... Uh, of uh, the taunt, but we know Ziggy has the sap, and it feels so bad to sap an Ancient of Lore, yeah. and it feels so good to sap the Ancient of War. So, if I was Domdis next turn, I would just, and it looks like he's going to go with the line I just said, where you're going to innervate into Druid of the Cards, and then the following turn, he can play Thorson with a handful. Play Thorson? Uh, Thorson. Thorson, Thorson. <laughs> yeah, I, I mean, he might play Thorson. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, you always go for the lore first. You want you want more options, especially while you can. Oh, Cro-Magus, I love it. Oh my god, Dom, this is my new favorite person. Sorry, Manny. Uh, it's okay. It's okay. Uh, it, it, will it redeem your favoriteness in me if I tell you? 
uh, that Insane and I both were running Chromagus Druid when it first came out. Yeah, but you're not running it now. But I'm not running Druid now. Double O's crafted a Golden Chromagus and was playing it. I almost crafted a Golden Chromagus. I Pretty was cool. very close. If I had the dust to craft it, it's 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 in the top crafting. It's yeah. probably it's probably number two. It's probably number two. I think Malganus would be number one. Oh yeah, Malganus is pretty cool. So do you go Chromagus here? No, you're probably gonna have to go Taunt. Let's see what he does though. He trades in. Oh wow, I'm watching on client and in the Google Hangout, and they're at, like different points in the game. Hmm, interesting. Or maybe maybe the. Oh wait, never mind. Okay. Well, shouldn't shouldn't really be. They should be about the same. Yeah, yeah it's it's all good. That's a really awkward turn for Rogue. That's, um, that's not really something you want to sack, you know. No. But here's the thing, right? Is that Domdis is gonna feel good about playing War? I would feel. Or he could play Chromagus, but I would play War if I was him. And then yeah, I'd play War. I think he's just gonna Black Knight it. That's he's totally gonna Black Knight it. That's devastating. And, like, what rogue runs Black Knight? I guarantee Domdus did not see that coming at all because nobody would have seen that coming. Nobody. It's interesting, it's interesting because when I learned rogue, because I hated rogue forever, when I learned rogue, I uh, Ziggy was my rogue teacher, right? He taught me how to play rogue. And so, like, I was using his list start off and he had the black has the black knight in his list so i i'm actually kind of used to playing with the rogue with black knight it's like it's like a weird little tech that he has but uh it's so cool i mean it's definitely good in certain metas i don't think it's good in the current meta but i mean this isn't you know this isn't ladder or anything so yeah how do you like the uh two two van cleef <laughs> two two van cleef's pretty strong um, Brotherhood shall prevail. The yeah. most value you'll get out of Van Cleef, yeah. 2 2. Ooh, he's just giving up. And was he. He was going to be dead anyway. Yep, he was going to be dead anyway. If he would have. He could have hit the 5 2 and then taunted for Drew to the taunt. Yeah. Um, but he, I think he was still dead. I liked the uh, Druid of the cards. I like that. Drew to the cards. Oh yeah, yeah. I'm sorry. I, I should have. I should have given you a, a heads up on that. I have all different names for all the druids. That's awesome. Yeah, yeah. Drew to the cards. Drew to the taunt. Drew to the silence. A a ancient of war is just ancient of taunt. So. That was so fast. That was. Uh, what are you supposed to? Hello. Supposed to ask him about. Oh, hey. What's up? Hey. What's Black up? Black Knight. Black Knight. Oh. <laughs> that was so disgusting. I feel so bad. Maddie was uh, super surprised by the uh, the Black Knight, and I was just talking about, um, I was just talking about how when you taught me Rogue, and uh, and then so I'm like used to playing with the Black Knight and Rogue. Mm hmm. <laughs> Yeah, I was like, um, I was like, so he's gonna play Ancient of War, which is really good, um, except for the Black Knight, and nobody's <laughs> gonna see that coming. Yeah, I was like, if I sap this Emperor, he's gonna play a big taunt. Like, there's no way. Yeah, yeah. And then that's exactly what happened, and I felt so bad. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, yeah sap. I mean, the the sap into the. That's just that was game over right there. Yeah. It feels so bad when you get your Ancient of War Black Knight. Yeah, I wasn't expecting that. I was expecting, like, oh, it's probably going to be Belcher or yeah. Druid of the Claw. And I saw the Ancient of War. I was like, oh, my God. All right, first of all, uh, talk about when Yeah, if you, get, if, you, if you Black Knight a Belcher, I mean, that it sucks, but it doesn't feel as bad. At Ancient of War, it's just like, that's, that was your whole turn. You yeah, know, that was his whole That's turn. always your whole turn. Um, it, it was his whole turn, plus I developed a Yeti. It was... it's gross. Yeah. 
pretty pretty crazy. Yeah, and that's what I was saying. Like nobody's gonna prepare for Black Knight isn't even really like an in favored card right now in general, but let alone in Rogue. So nobody was gonna see that coming, which yeah. is like amazing. I loved it. Yeah. I'm I'm upset with you because you didn't bring you didn't bring anything uh I, I was hoping you'd bring some kind of really weird rogue. I, I, I had I had a weird rogue. It was doing well on ladder like a week ago, and then I queued it into ladder today, and I went like zero and six. I was like, "Yeah, I can't bring this." <laughs> it was some it like, was some weird gadget send deck with like a bunch of spare parts. Oh, that's so cool! Yeah, it, <laughs> it, is... it, it didn't work today though, so I didn't bring it. Ziggy, no, why? <laughs> you failed us. Um, so, was that, that, because we didn't see any of, like, uh, was that pretty much, was that, like, a oil rogue, or was that more just minion-based, controly kind of rogue? Uh, it was, it was oil rogue, yeah. Yeah, because I was gonna say, we didn't really, you didn't even need to do any, like, oil combo type things, so, I wasn't sure, um, uh, I mean, I know we saw the, the flurry, but that, I think that might have been the only oil type card that we saw. Yeah, other than that, it's like pretty standard. The eviscerates, the saps, sprint. What are you not running to fit the Black Knight in? Um, let me see. I think I cut a sap. Okay. Oh, is this sap? And that Actually, makes, no. That no, makes I cut sense. A fan. I was okay. Gonna, I, I was gonna say the one that uh, I used to play from you had a fan cut. Yeah. Oh yeah, um, I cut a fan. I mean, it, it makes sense to cut a sap as yeah. well, because probably 90% of the time you're sapping a taunt anyway. Yeah. So that definitely makes I also, sense. I also cut a boom. Okay, yeah. 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 I, um, I was just telling Kevin, I just started playing Rogue today. I'm playing it on NA and EU at the same time, and uh, I was getting crushed with it on NA and doing amazing on EU, but I also am just so like noob to the Oil Rogue that I don't know if, like, my deck's good or not or, you know, but my deck looked very similar in cards to, like, what you were running, so I feel pretty good about it now. Minus, <laughs> minus the Black Knight, of course. And Gotta run it, man. If you're bad at oil, you can always play mill or aggro. I mean, I'm really good at mill. It's just Should mill. Should play Backspace just... Rogue? <laughs> Back oh, uh, Defias Ringleader? Yeah. Yeah. Chargers. And then your handlock, you ran two BGHs. Yes, that's um, um, that's pretty crazy. Are you like a handlock that hates handlocks? Is that is that? Yeah, I was looking more more to beat like handlock and stuff. So when I saw the warlock mirror, I was pretty excited because like most people play handlock, and I saw like the young priestess, and my head just like. It just went down. I was really sad. Yeah, he had an awesome deck too. He had, he had like, murlocs. Like it came out of nowhere. The murlocs, and then um, he he was really close to winning that match too. Oh really? Um, yeah, yeah. He had uh, in his hand. He had a uh, soul fire. So oh. there was there was multiple things where he could have won. If he would have got another owl. A couple times he would have won. If he oh. if he would have got um, a dark bomb, he would have won. Um, he his other card was um a, the other arcane, so uh, he see. had seven in his hand to like for the lethal. It was just you kept putting up taunts. Yeah, but yeah, his his deck was had, super creative. Yeah, like I saw old Merc guy, I was like, Jesus Christ. Yeah, I thought I was dead that turn actually. No, he was uh, he was close, but not quite. Uh, and yeah, I've been actually, running the double have, um, If he would have attacked you with the owl, the one turn, that was it. Yeah, you probably still would have went with a different. That's when you went Watcher Shadow Flame. You yeah. probably would have went with a different line than that because you could have got the molten out for one, and then taunted it if you wanted. Um, yeah. But if you went with that same line, if you went with the Watcher Shadow Flame, uh, he would he had lethal then too because he had he, at that point he had both Arcanes and uh, the Shadow or the Soul Fire. Oh, that's so unfortunate. Yeah, it was pretty. Um, it was pretty cool. Uh, I was honestly I was rooting for him that game just because that deck was so <laughs> crazy, right? I, I was rooting for him too. Like. Yeah. <laughs> 
Yeah, I mean, it's I, I love when people think outside the box. I mean, yeah, it's Murlocs, but like it had some other things, you know, like the Arcanes, the Soul Fires. It was really aggro, but um, not only thinking outside the box, but just like having the balls to play it too, you know? Yeah. <laughs> He needed so, more. He needed more Murlocs, in my opinion. More <laughs> Just Murlocs. Thirty Murlocs. That's it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. There's there's not thirty Murlocs in the game, but we can or make an it all happen. legendary deck that works too. All legendary, yeah. With some um, Alarma bots. Yeah, Alarma bots, and you play Druid. And the uh, summoning portal, if Warlock. you want to stay with Warlock. Ooh, fun. <laughs> but yeah, you um, that was that was super quick. You um, just went in there and went right to work. Um, yeah. Hunter deck looked like pretty standard mid range. Yep, there's, yeah. there's a BGH in there too. Oh, okay. Yeah, I was gonna ask if there's anything. I really don't like hand locks, so. <laughs> yeah, you must hate hand locks. Um, and I mean, everyone runs Doctor Boom. It's like you always pretty much get BGH value one way or the other. Yeah. I guess in Hunter, even playing a 4-2 for 3 um, can be good in general. It's a it's a yeah, low, I mean, low drop, high damage card. You're looking to hit face anyways, and they don't clear it. That's 4 damage to face. Yeah. That's like a slightly worse kill command. Yeah, and they're probably going to have to use something awkward to get rid of it. Like, that'll take the value away from whatever card they're using to get rid of your BGH. Yeah. Um, so you can focus more on your other cards. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. Pretty cool decks, though. Um, I was definitely, I'm definitely into the Black Knight. I'm, I'm way into it. <laughs> I can Ad, send you a list later. And he's like crafting a deck already. Yeah, I already, I already, I already teched in Black Knight. I'm ready to roll. Oh, nice. <laughs> <laughs> That's how you do it. Yeah, and. uh... Maybe you'll send me an aggro rogue or something later. No, I'm not sending you any deck lists. <laughs> tempo, tempo rogue, Anabar ambushers. Yeah, uh-huh. that's anti-tempo. Yeah, but you can like return an SI7 agent to your hand. It's beautiful. Well, you still lose the three-three though. You got a five-five for four cost. <laughs> <laughs> that's not good logic. <laughs> Kevin, you should make an anti-tempo deck. Put in like mana wraiths and <laughs> uh, oh Felguard. Yeah, <laughs> uh, Val- Felguard Weblord. Felguard Weblord. Jaren would love me. Weblord. Yeah. This is perfect. We we're already we're already That's coming like up. That's like Jaren's with favorite card. Yeah. Did you ever hear this story, Maddie? No, I did not. Uh, Jaren was convinced that. Uh, Nerebar Weblord was going to be insanely OP after Blackrock. Huh. He was so convinced. And then... Um, anytime it drops out of a shredder, I just get so mad. <laughs> uh, I don't... Yeah, I wouldn't... You'd have to build a very specific deck for that to yeah. work in. A really spell-heavy deck. Yeah, for real. Maybe, maybe we should make a rogue deck with it. Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> well, I guess if you put in a bunch of combos in there, because combos are like not battle cries. That's true. Uh, it would work decently. And then you throw in Perdition's Blade, <laughs> and then it, it all works out. Yeah. <laughs> oh no! So in my rogue right now, I'm actually running one Assassin's Blade. Is that horrible or is that? Okay. There's too much Harrison right now, I think. So Assassin Blade should probably take a seat right now? Yeah, because... Are you running double oil? Yeah, double oil. Like, double oil plus Assassin, that's like way overkill on damage. You don't need that much damage. Okay. Sure, yeah. Plus, I think it's Harrison that loses you the game a lot. Yeah, that's true. Uh, not only will it just, like, cripple my blade, but also yeah. just give them so much draw. Don't listen to thing it. Don't listen to him. He doesn't even know Rogue. <laughs> I'll pretty much listen to anyone who's played um, any Rogue game ever, Kevin. So <laughs> they I have, go- I have Golden Rogue. You have to listen to me. Yeah, there you go. You played 19. You can listen to yourself. <laughs> there you go. And then for Paladin questions, you just come to me. That's it. Yeah, there you go. And I'll come to you with priest questions, Kevin. Yay! <laughs> oh, no. 
Oh no. <laughs> yeah. That one's horrible. Wow. Ziggy, please. <laughs> Why you break my heart like this? Why are you always asking for deck lists? Because <laughs> I want more decks to play. All mine are boring. I've seen you play some pretty creative decks, Kevin. I've been, there have been random games where I'll just be like, eh, I'm going to go see, spectate Kevin, see what he's got going on. And I go in and you're playing like... Some random thing. <laughs> Anixia's in your deck. Just like crazy, yeah. craziness. I can't even... Eh, eh. Most of the time when I come spectate you, you're not playing something quote-unquote normal. So, Yeah, but everything gets boring after... A while, right? Yeah, absolutely. That's why I've been, I've just been trying to play classes that I'm not as familiar with. I'm playing a lot of Handlock right now, which is like, I don't, I haven't really ever played a lot of Handlock. How about like Gelbin Mechatork deck? Gelbin Mechatork deck. How about Gazlo Spare Parts Combo Druid? I would, but I don't have Gazlo, so it's kind of a killer. Yeah, I ran it for. Uh, I, I made one a couple seasons ago when I yeah. just like messing around. It was actually surprisingly decent. I huh. just because it's just like a, make a mech deck, put in Gazlo, put in combo, yeah. put in Ancients of Lore, swipe and Keeper of the Grove, and you're just it's that's your deck, you know. Easy. It's really fun with Gazlo though because you can get such random. Car. Like, if you get, like, an Iron Juggernaut or something off uh, of Gazlo, yeah. you're just like, this is awesome. <laughs> oh, man. It sounds like fun. Yeah, Gazlo makes everything fun. I'm actually building a, a, a Major Domo Executus deck as we speak. <laughs> yeah. So that's fun. <laughs> it's got, like, Doomsayers and Explosive Sheeps, and then, like... And then you just get, like, Ice Barrier and Ice Block, and so you can't die... And then you Ragnaros, and then you Alex Straza yourself up. I got I got beat the other day by a Domo Mage deck, and I felt pretty bad about myself. <laughs> uh, as you should, Maddie. It, yeah, it really made me evaluate the deck I was playing, the way I was <laughs> yeah. playing. Yeah. <laughs> it kind of put me on tilt. I'm like, what did I do wrong? <laughs> Where did I go wrong here? Oh, man, that's so funny. Yeah. Oh, God. <laughs> I'm about to try it, though. This is going to be awesome. Well, I wish you the best of luck with it. Thanks, Maddie. So, so where do we go f from here? With the are we, are we still on stream? Or? Yes, yes, we are. Oh. So, so where do we go from here? Yeah, well, I'm going to find a group to spectate. Okay. So... Let's see here. Let's see. How about Chandy and Modor? Maybe. Who? Why, you're not going to watch LBYS? Oh, yeah. We, we could definitely do that. I, I, let's see here. All right. Cora can't cast tonight. So I'm just going to have her come on in with y'all, but... Pepperoni, pepperoni. So, um, my daughter is currently watching the stream, so I want to give a shout out to my daughter, Lydia. Um, she's an up and coming Hearthstone player. She nice. already told me she's going to get Legend. There you go. Um, her, uh, she's streamed several times with me. <laughs> <laughs> um, her best rank so far, I think, is 16, but she got all on her own, so I was pretty proud of her. Wow, not even Legend, Maddie? Oh, yeah, I mean... I, Maddie, you're a bad teacher. I guess. I, she just won't grind. She won't put the time in. <laughs> I'm giving... I, 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 all the tools are at her disposal. I have the knowledge. <laughs> Don't worry. You'll, you'll get her there, Maddie. You got this, Lydia. I believe, I believe in you. You can, you can do it, Lydia. 
you have the Kevin Cookies blessing. <laughs> and if you have that, you need nothing more. Yeah. <laughs> I wonder if she, if I like, not played for her, but just coached her to legend now, if she would be the youngest player to ever hit legend. Good question. She's um, nine. It's a good question, Maddie. We should we should try to go for it. Maybe I should just go for it with her. Yeah. Oh, that'd be cool. And you could stream it. It would be awesome. It would be awesome. Um, but like I said, I don't know if she has the um, I don't know if she has the grind in her to do it. But maybe she does. But from what I hear, Kevin, hitting legend is easy, so you say. Kevin is full of crap. <laughs> what are you talking about? I proved it. I guess he did. <laughs> so Kevin, I, I did that he, just for you, Brandon. I did that just for you. He always says how easy it is to get to legend. And then he usually just like sits around rank four for a week or something like that. But this time he what? actually... I I Most literally told to had, okay, okay, this is what happened, stream. This is what happened. So I was talking about, yeah, okay, I say this all the time, you know. I'm always like, oh, you know, it's it's easy to get to Legend, blah, 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 all this trash, whatever. And so what happened, I don't know, like two days ago maybe, and I I, say, I was talking about this in, in line chat, and then Beast goes, oh, you're sitting at, you're sitting at rank, uh, you're sitting at rank, uh, four though i was like okay i'll tell you what i was like i'll do it tonight he's like yeah okay and then i i just did it i just did rank five zero stars to legend in like three hours and i was like there yeah i still don't believe me i've gone rank four to legend in like hour 45 minutes losing one game yeah I've definitely done it. And actually, when I hit Legend, I was in top 100 just because my win rate was so crazy. Oh, yeah. When they put me in, I think they put me in at, uh, at 8, actually. Yeah. Which is pretty cool. So it, I be it can be done. What were you playing? Uh, well, I played this, like, misdirection Hunter. Because that was the other point, is that I was saying that Hunter is stupid and really easy to do a, a climb with. Yeah. And so that was the other point that I was trying to make. I um I do agree that Hunter is pretty easy to climb with. That was the first time I ever got Legend. I got it with Hunter, and uh, I pretty much said I would never do it again, just because it's not. I'd rather take uh, my time with slower decks, I guess, than just. I mean, I know I can hit it with Hunter. I can hit it with Hunter every oh, yeah. time. No, yeah, I mean. It was up to me. I I I'm the type that I like to just wait. I'll wait till the last day and then just hit it on the last day. Honestly. Yeah. Insane actually wanted to prove how broken, um, like Face Hunter was, and the whole. It, it was. I don't think it was last season. I believe it was the season before, and he was not really. He was playing a lot of heroes and not. He didn't really care about getting Legend that season for whatever reason. And he was rank 18. And uh, the, our one friend was giving him crap. And he's like, yeah, whatever. And uh, we were on Skype and he got off. The one the one kid got off Skype and Insane is like, I'm going to go play Face Hunter to Legend right now. <laughs> so, so enough of this. <laughs> yeah. So he literally went from 18 to rank 4 in, I, I don't even know, like just a short, like three hours maybe. Like not not even, right? Eighteen to four, just like that. He he said. I think he got like maybe one, maybe two losses between eighteen and four, which was just like that's just so stupid, you know? <laughs> that's so crazy. Yeah. That's awesome. But yeah, um, Chalky Chalky did something like that last season, where he just waited until like three days before the season ended. And then he just, and then he just climbed, and then did top 100. Just he did like rank. He was like rank 20, and then he was like, not rank 20. It was like, he was like ranks. I think it was like 15 or something. Didn't play, didn't play on NA all season, and then just started climbing. He's like, all right, I'm just gonna do it, and it was awesome. Yeah, I haven't had the. I'm just going to do it yet this season. 
you know, like kind of how you did. You went from you're yeah. just like, right, I'm doing it. Yeah. I haven't I haven't hit the I'm just going to do it. I'm kind of just doing the I'm playing Hearthstone, you know, I'm playing some games. I like to do that. I I always I do I feel really motivated and I get the legend and then I'm really sad that I did after. Cuz then I get bored afterwards and then I just tank my ranking. Oh yeah. I um well, I'll try to go for top 100 and then after a while I, I I'll do well and like hang out up there for a while and then once I tank it's just yeah. Play whatever you want. Yeah, exactly. The mill rogue comes out. Yeah. The pirate hunter comes out. Well, yeah, I tried to do... Uh, I tried... I got into it. I tried to do number one. And I got to three. But then fell back. And then that was just kind of it. That was the end. I've got, an, <laughs> I've got an idea while we wait for matches. Sure. Now... You, you're going to be excited. I'm going to remove this TNH, and you're going to see what deck I'm going to play, and you guys are going to coach me. All right. I thought you were going to say me and Natty play. We're going to play each other. Battles. Oh, you could do that, <laughs> but I'm going to play the Cookie Shaman. Cookie Shaman? I haven't seen that in a while. Oh, my gosh. You don't want me coaching you on Shaman. <laughs> <laughs> Kevin, I'll you ready for this? Shaman. Wow, I haven't played that deck in a while. Dude, That's I made yeah. It like last week, I was very, uh, I was very up and down with that deck. Like I'd win a bajillion games in a row and then lose a bajillion games in a row. The Cookie Shaman, I don't even. It's like a mid range, but it, but it's like, it has like power maces and some mechs. It's pretty cool. You want to just throw this all away? Get to our creepers. I, I I don't know. <laughs> I would have said oh, to keep. Hang this. on, hang on. How about that I, curve? How I would have said to curve? keep the spider tank there, but. Wow, you didn't even wait for my opinion. Come nah. on, man. Nah. His his hand got much better. Dude, oh, oh the curve is real, boys. The curve is real. You you don't lose when you start with a with a zombie child. That's what I've learned. You just curse yourself, my friend. I know. So it's, it's over. I think the real question is, do I? Just drop the creeper? Do you, should I coin out the spider tank? Uh, I think you just drop the creeper, and then you coin the fi the fire guard into the nullifier. Yeah. Well, you can't you can't coin fire guard into nullifier. Oh, because it locks you up. So you can coin fire guard into spider tank. Yes, or you could just spider tank, fire guard, nullifier. You do that too. That's true. Uh, I think I like true. developing the fire guard yeah. earlier than later, right? Oh, oh my gosh. gosh. What is this garbage? Well, well <laughs> you could... So you're going to have to give him a hex? Um, I guess. Maybe not. You could give him a coin and get a coin back. <laughs> That's true. I, I would hex it, yeah. I would definitely hex it. Yeah, just, just hex it. I that thing's that thing's gonna destroy you, dude. Yeah. yeah, that thing's ridiculous. I swear, unstable portal is the most broken thing ever. I don't understand. It's so funny. <laughs> I love that card so much. All it's right, weird. So should I uh, should I save the coins or should I coin out a creeper? Um, I'm gonna save creeper. them. Creeper doesn't really give you. I like, hate like, Creeper. I hate what do you Creeper get? so much. What do you get from playing Creeper? No. If you had like a if you had a flame tongue or something, I would say maybe do that, but Yeah, yeah, exactly. But it's not like you're making a huge power swing by playing Creeper, you know what I mean? Uh oh. Ooh, the Fire Lord. Wow, everyone's so, at the almond's bad. Please. I have a question about Gallywix. If Gallywix is gold, does he kick out golden Gallywix coins? I think so. I, to, I have a, to your opponent. I have a friend who has a uh, a gold Gallywix. I have a gold one that I got in a pack that I oh, never Gallywix. play. What's wrong with you? So we could test it for science later. Yeah. I assume it does, right? I think it does. 
I'm not a hundred percent sure, but I think it does. So I hate Flame Wakers now. Just hate them. Oh yeah. It's- Especially playing Paladin. Hey, Beast, did I put a mind control tech in this deck? No. I probably should have. How the hell did he just deal with my board? Flame Waker? Because of stupid Flame Waker. He reversing switch, too, which was gotcha. also pretty good. I think you have to Earthshock the Flame Waker. Yeah, Earthshock and trade it in. Yeah, trade everything in and then play it. Play a spider tank, or you could coin. I would sp- just spider tank. Yeah, I would spider tank too. <laughs> Does this run double j- zombie chow? Yep. Yep. All right. I run zombie. I run. I runs double zombie chows and double creeper in like all of my shaman decks. It's just yep. like something that I do. Yeah, it makes sense. The way I play Shaman is I just desperately try to cling the board as long as I can. Because that's the whole <coughs> the whole win condition of the class. So you're going in a flame strike turn. I oh, I wouldn't worry about that. No. What, what would I play? Belcher Coin you know, Creeper. You always have to think about if I have an overload card that Belcher Coin play. Creeper is pretty good. Yeah, that's fine. Why didn't you use regular coin? Come on. I'm pretty sure they're equivalent. <laughs> no, I know, like I, I like looking at Galliots's coin. Because you don't get to see it all the time. Yeah. Exactly. See, Natty knows. Ah, uh, the hex! It's back. Damn it! I would really like some of those uh, fire elementals. Wow, remember when Fire Elemental used to be, like, the only good card for Shaman, and then they, like, gave a neutral Fire Elemental to everyone? (laughs) (laughs) Here, you got it. Please. All right. Well, I probably want to drop Feral Spirits here. Feral Spirits Totem. Or Feral Spirits Nullifier. Or you could Nullifier Flame Tongue. Uh, I think playing the Flame Tongue for... Feral Spirit Flame Tongue. I like Spirit Nullifier. Well, I can't deal with this guy. So. Where's all your card draw? Oh, he gave you the well played. Um. Matt, do you want to play a, a random deck? Mm-hmm. Um, I can be into that, but... Yeah, I can be into that. No, I think he, I, I think he's gonna flame strike you. I really do. Yeah. Yep. All right. Well, then I'm just gonna tow him. Let him get. Uh, let him flame strike. Uh, whatever it is, it's off the top. And flame strike. <laughs> Maddie, make a random deck to battle me with. He's thinking about it. No, we have. Uh, have oh, do we have a minute? They're finishing up their first round. All right, I'm gonna um, I'm gonna grab a beverage real fast. Right, then go. before the before the uh, match, I'm telling you, the, his card on his far left is flame strike. I, I'm confident. Yeah. Lies. You don't think so, Kevin? I have no idea. He probably would have done it last turn. I don't know. Ooh, I would have done it. Power mace. Do it. Power mace, flame tongue, and then yeah. just kill your own flame tongue. Mm-hmm. And then you can power mace. Wait, yeah, should I just take some damage? Should I, uh. uh should uh, I keep the creeper alive oh, then, actually? Hit the. Yeah, wait, that's better. If you. It just face tank the, um. It, you're gonna take three either way. Face tank one of the threes. Yeah, you that's can face yeah. Three. 
That's bad. And then you trade your with your spiders. You leave your um, yeah, yeah. You trade your wolf into the flame tongue. You face tank three, and then you trade your spiders into whichever one you don't face. Tank. And then you coin you totem. can also cloak your. I would coin totem. I think I would cloak your flame tongue. Like Kevin likes that. coin totem. I like coin totem too. We're ignoring. We're ignoring the clears because we're 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 manly men, so we don't play around things. Make them have it. That's that's the mentality I like. Yeah. I like the make them have it. You're also gonna get a huge nullifier. You're gonna get a injured blade master nullifier. <laughs> yep. That's very true. It's really fun when you get that card for turn four. Oh no. Oh no, he stopped it and is gonna kill us. <laughs> well, at least you didn't kill our flame tongue totem, right? That's right. Wow, look at this. And you can trade the, the wolf and the 1 1. Isn't that beautiful? Yeah, but why would I trade the wolf when I could just fire elemental? Yeah, you just fire Ellie and then trade. Oh yeah, you can't attack the weapon. You trade both 1-1s. One yeah, you're right. I forgot that you were frozen. Although, we're probably screwed, because since he frogs both his face, I'm assuming... He has, he has no less than one fireball. Yeah, I'm assuming he has more burn. Well, we'll, we'll find out for sure right now, right? Because if he fireballs the... the <laughs> oh my gosh, oh. amazing. Oh! It's the dream. And he got, let me also point out, he got two legendaries from two portals. That's oh my god, watch this, uh, broken. this rogues do it. Oh! <laughs> and he got four. Where oh my I? gosh, I was going to go grab a drink, but this just got too amazing. I know. <laughs> Let's make sure that this baby gets a little... Where do I oh, okay. Right? Left? Uh, I think left. Well, let's think about what we're doing first. We're gonna do that, then we're gonna play Healbot, right? So yeah, can... but I mean, like, as far as trading minions and all that. Right? I think, I, let's hit into the Yeti. It's so awkward every way. Um, so, wait, the best trade, I think, is you trade your um, Fire Ellie into the. Uh, it is awkward. Yeah, let's do this here. I guess you do Fire. Yeah. <laughs> and then you do. Oh, that's, Excuse me. That's not too bad. I'll just get this guy out. Yeah, yeah. yeah that's fine. <coughs> Go back to the right of the left stone. Pop up our dude first. Right. All right. Let's go here. Yeah, I think you have face with the three one, right? Yeah. No sense not to. Yep. Oh, hell. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Why not? He can't get through to like do any trading. The only he, thing, the only thing is that if he does have this flame strike that you promised, then he can ping off the. Oh no! Wait, no, he can't. It's spell protector. I was gonna say he could ping off the nullifier. Yeah. All right, all right, gentlemen. I will be right back. Something crazy is gonna happen. I think the crazy thing is that Sean is gonna win a game. Wow, shut up, man. Shaman's amazing. Alright, this power of the horde's gonna give you a vitality totem. <laughs> That's a horde warrior, right? I don't even know. Oh, Karen Bloodhoof, let's go. Karen Bloodhoof, I believe. Just kidding, we're not even playing that card. What? Why'd you play that card? You have Dr. Boom. Yeah, but I, I mean... It's so that worked out, I guess. It's so much better to get a Senjin shield next time. Uh, I think it's time to quote the flame tone. Yeah. So, so you have the bug. I don't think so. I think we win. Shaman wins a game. I don't understand. Uh oh. Uh oh. What a dick. What a dick. That's why I'm <laughs> Shaman. Shaman sucks. Wow. Smage. 
It's like Face Hunter, but it's a mage. Face mage. Alright, good one. How salty. How no. salty are you right now? Not at all. <laughs> I'm almost, I'm gonna get control, I'm gonna get uh, Golden Warrior this season. Ooh, that's a good one. I love Golden Warrior. So, let's see. Let's get, we're gonna spectate Flaming Bum, bum Kiss. Flaming Bum Bum Kiss? That's awesome. Flaming O Bums. <laughs> oh god. Wait no, I'm she said it's flamingo. Right. But it's it oh, flamingo. But it's also flaming o bums. <laughs> I met this guy recently in Twitch streams. Flamingo guy. Oh, you know what I wanted to do, Brandon? Rip in your honor. I wanted to, in your honor, make a Bulvar Four Dragon Paladin. <laughs> That's awesome. And it's so cool when he gets played. It's like the, it's the coolest like animation thing. Is it? Yeah. What do you mean? Is it? You played that card for like forever. Uh, is it? It's all right. It's all card. Break my that's your card. If I if I had to pick a card that represents you, it's that card. Bulvar Four Dragon. Cause that you remember that's all you played for like the longest time was Bulvar Four Dragon Paladin. Right. Like when GB came out. I, love, I did love that card. <laughs> way way back in the day. <laughs> oh god. All right, so I think we're gonna go to Mordor and. Flamingo bums. Flamingo, yay! No, Storm Raider did just come back and take the game. Okay. Alright. Looks like May, May Gal and Wire are also coming up soon. Gonna have to go erase people. Wait, all who is Moogle Charm? Don't know. Wait, you're already you're already up to two hundred. What? Oh, you can have more people on your friends list now. It goes up to two hundred. Since when? Since today. Where did that get announced? Somewhere. <clears throat> I'm back, gentlemen. Is Maddie? Maddie, can you have two hundred friends now? Um, I heard that they are upping your friends. Oh, I don't. Yeah. I don't think it's in effect yet. Yeah, it is. Try to add a friend. Over a hundred. I am at. Uh, well, I gotta get people. I think I'm at ninety. Go, go go find some friends. <laughs> I'm at ninety six right now. Me too. I just dropped some. Go find some friends. All right, I'm, I'm <laughs> tweeting out. <laughs> I heard. Uh, you know what? I know who will know, for sure. Espo. Um. No, my buddy Jared will know for sure. It only makes sense, you know. Yeah. <laughs> um so Jared said yes. Wow, I already told you that, Maddie. You guys didn't believe me. We don't believe you. Uh, um it's not that I didn't believe you, Kevin. It's just that I wanted uh, more than one confirmation of it. <laughs> Maddie doesn't believe me. I'm sad. <laughs> I 
I love how when I said that, Maddie was like, no, no, no. And then Beast was just like, I, I don't believe you. <laughs> <laughs> I do not believe you. <laughs> oh, you know what I'll do? I'll go back through. I can add Dr. Hovenstein again. Oh, Dr. Hovenstein! <laughs> I'm going to go on a, on a spree. ESL admin, random. I Fine, I'll take you. Backspace, why not? Art Z, pay a mods, why not? Dear Nadia, sure. <laughs> you guys ever go to the ad friends list and it shows you the... Um, oh, Heavy J, I'll add Heavy J back again. Oh, I forgot about Jordan. Chalky, good old Chalky. Liquid Bagel, why not? Keo, I used to have him. TX Rim, I can have you back. All my old friends that I've deleted because I can't hold them. Oh my god, TX Rim, that's an old name. Oh my god. B1 Tuesday Night Hype 2. Yeah, when I first started, he was like huge. He was like winning everything. And then he just like stopped. I don't know if just, that's like, true. He just like doesn't, he just doesn't like play in anything anymore. Oskaka, that was a nice guy. I'm mad at him. He was cool. Is it true? Beast of two hundred. Yes, it's true. Beast of Edward L Erl L L Erlich. He won the Tuesday Night Hype. Now the real question is, when does all the new stuff come out? Oh, you mean like uh, a waste of time tavern brawl? Waste of time tavern brawl, cash grab skins. Yeah. Well, I think they said for the tavern brawl it was mid June. I don't know about the skins. I just like read all the stuff about the tavern brawls and all that nonsense. I think tavern brawl will be fun, but like, it will give players that it will give me something to do after I hit legend. That's pretty much what it will do for me. Honestly, yeah. you need to stop catering to the poor and the new. Like, they have popularity because of the eSport of Hearthstone, and they don't give us anything to further that. They do need to make some balance changes. They haven't done that in a really long time. Well, what do you I mean? will they, say that. Like, I mean, it feels like yesterday they took away my Leroy. Remember Tink? Aw, that was a sad one. Rest in peace, Tink. You'll always have my heart. <laughs> no, the the biggest nerf, I think, of any card, at least once the game's been released, was definitely Starving Buzzard. Oh, yeah. Because Leroy, still playable. Cost one more mana, still playable. I know. Gadget, Gadgetson, he got hit. It's still playable, sort of. Buzzard, absolutely unplayable. Never Not even a card. Game. Not even a card. They should have just been like, we're taking this card out of the game. Yeah, like, there wasn't even an argument about that either. Everyone was like, yeah, that's way over the top. Like, beyond over the top. A five cost, three, two? Yep. What? Like, yeah. like even, uh, like, the thing that gives, like, Wind Fury, that's even a four cost. Like, <laughs> it's just ridiculous. I don't know. Right. Yeah, it should cost, I mean, it like, should be a five, five cost, four, three. Uh, yeah, okay. Five. Five co four cost, three two, right right yeah, something like that. Something I mean, not much, absolutely ridiculous. <laughs> yeah, I'm I mean, pretty much every, but pretty much every card that does things like that. So like, Kazan Mystic is a four mana four three, Harrison is a five mana five four. So right. it should be at very least. If it's going to cost five mana, a four three. Minimum, if not a five four. Oh, yeah, definitely. Like, Harrison draws you cards and destroys a weapon. Right. That only draws you cards with the very specific cards that are played. Right. So, by itself, it does nothing. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Yeah, it's just stupid. That one was pretty stupid. <laughs> well, what if there was a, a game mode with the Tavern Brawl where it was like, all cards at their like unnerfed versions. 
Hey, oh my works. gosh, that would be it, amazing. It works. I have 101 friends. What does it oh, say? I, I what does it say that. on like the slash part? Oh, it just ups the cap. It just ups the cap. Oh. I have 102 friends. You're popular. Nice. I'm just gonna I'm gonna keep adding random people, but let's try to find a you know Yay, popular Brandon. You did it. I can be popular now too. Yay, popularity. How do we know each other? <laughs> Wait, are you guys watching my stream? Oh yeah. Yeah. Yes. You it's like creeper on Facebook adding a bunch of random people. How do I know you? <laughs> oh, well. Giggity. <clears throat> I also, um, so when I went to take uh, just that quick break and grab a drink and whatnot, I, um, <clears throat> I heard two things. One was from my daughter talking about the legend thing, and she wanted to, me to clarify. She said she will get legend when she is 51. That's what she told me, years 51 old. years old. The second thing is um, my son, Roman, was very sad I did not mention him and that he plays Hearthstone as well. So, uh, Bible thump. Got to give a shout out to Roman. Bible thumps all day. Yes. Who is the only six-year-old I know who has ever gotten at least ranked 20 by themselves. <laughs> I'm sure there's others out there. How ranked 20 again? I keep she, my daughter is nine and my son is six, and they both play, both play, um, and uh, I will help them to a degree, but for the most part, I let them do their thing. So. Win trading. Win trading confirmed. No, 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 no. I mean more so as far as coaching. No, I'm, I'm kidding. <laughs> wow, this is so great. 102 friends. Thank you, Ben Brode. Everybody should go and retweet that. <laughs> wow, Ben Brode, what a guy. Letting you have 102 friends. It's beautiful. It is pretty beautiful. That's so awesome. So now I can be friends with everybody. All right. Oh, okay. Come on. Flamingo bums. Flamingo bums. Flamingo. Flaming o bums. Flaming o bums. Yeah. Missing no. <laughs> Missing no. All right. Nice. Eater. Eater. Um, would you like Kevin and I to entertain for a moment? Oh please. Entertain. <laughs> entertain, as in random deck time, Kevin. Oh my God, yes. Well, okay. I, I'm a little worried about that just because we have two games in their last potential game for a, a stream match to occur. Oh, well, then we don't have to do it and or we can just concede right away. Okay, we can do that. Get it going. Wow, I have to finish my game first. <laughs> oh, Kev oh, Kevin. All right, let's spy on <laughs> Kevin. So I'm playing Control Warrior, but while I'm uh, oh. oh god. Oh, so we're okay. So there goes that idea. Uh, no, it's almost done. We might be able to play like half a game. Do it. Don't give up quite yet, Maddie. Five, six. Put oh. my faith in the Kevin. Six plus. Oh yeah, I'm done right now. All right, Maddie, we got this. Oh, okay. So here, let me. Wow, can you take a quick guess about what class I'm gonna pick? Oh, wait, we're just doing random, right? Yeah, random. Um. Yeah, we get to pick a class. Oh, okay. Well, I'm gonna put my faith in the light with my man Uther. 
Well, I'm gonna. Well, the elements will destroy you, my friend. That's fine. You don't want none of this. Oh, don't look at your cards when it's making it. Huh? I know, I know. Okay. I know the rules. I've done this one time. <laughs> done this one time. Yes, I'm ready. I'm ready too. All right, there we go. And uh, Beast, feel free to spectate one of us, and then. Right, See, we should on. do this. Mom. I don't know why we don't do this all the time. Wait, it's like random generated. Deck. Yeah, you go, you go in, you yeah, pick yeah. your class, you hit done. It says your deck is thirty cards short. Would you like it to finish? And you just say yes, and then you don't look at the cards as oh, they come. You're so done. You're uh, so done, dude. Oh, uh, am I? So done. Dude, I have the best two five drops in the whole game. Done. In my hand. Don't don't stream snipe me, Kevbo. Don't stream snipe oh me. Oh my gosh, I got a legendary. <laughs> oh wow. I hope it's a bad one. Is it uh, Hill House Mana Storm? I got two legendaries. Oh god. Um, I guess bad is subjective, right? You ruined my plan, dude. Oh. <laughs> oh, get out of here with that guy. Nobody likes that guy. What do you got? Oh, I hate you so much. Oh my god. You're the worst. You're the worst, Maddie. Well met. Well met. Wow, well you have met. a golden Fell Reaver. Oh, you have Fell Reaver, huh, Kevpo? <laughs> yeah, Kevin. <laughs> nice Fell Reaver. I used to have golden earth elementals and then I disenchanted them. That's a very, very nice shiny. Harvest all of steroids. <laughs> so screwed, dude. You're so screwed. Am I? You're done. <clears throat> you better hope oh, we don't get to turn right, seven. Boys. <laughs> you gotta hurry up. We got plenty of bombs and Mordor. No, oh, well, we can stop if you need us to. No, it's yeah, trying to finish stop. it out. I'll tell him to hold on just a second. Oh, man, he's gonna blow me away anyway. Alright, so man. we'll do um less thinking, more playing. Wow. Less, uh, Fat. We're, we're playing speed. How speed. am I supposed to be like Arjun Protector and Cog Hammer? Speed. How am I supposed to deal with that? Sorry, bro. <laughs> uh, okay, I have a plan. Spanning Bam! Up. That's your plan? That is a horrible plan, sir. Well, you haven't seen my plan yet. How can you say it's a horrible plan? You haven't even seen it. Please. Because you have to deal with this. Ah! That's right, that's right. You can't even handle it. <laughs> oh. In the name of love. Oh man, I'm gonna curve really nicely here. Nice Back from the junk heap. Back from the junk heap. The Illidan? Do you have Illidan? I wish I had Illidan. That would be cool. Oh! Oh ho! Alright, ready for my plan? Correct. See ya, Maddie. Oh. Okay, okay. I see what you're doing there. Ready for my plan? Oh crap. This is the best battle cry in the whole Correct. game. This is the best battle cry. Oh! Whoa! Harvesting service engaged. Harvesting servos. Engaged. Face. Don't hit me in the face. Face. Oops. That was a mistake. That was a mistake. I am sorry. <laughs> okay, I have a plan. Thank you. Oh, look at it. Oh, my God. <laughs> 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 what? Oh, it's not fair. 
Amazing! That's not fair! Amazing! Holy, holy wrath. Holy wrath for 12! I wish I was, knew it would be 12 and gone straight to your face! <laughs> oh my gosh. What a great, what a great way to end. Oh my god, turns out I had a flying machine in there. Oh my god, I had a flying machine, I had... Oh a yeah! Domo Executus. Oh yeah, I, I can look at the deck now too. Yeah. Um, so, Nunchuck some of the some of the better cards. I had a I had a Kelthazad, the Ooh. Dragon Consort. I had a Bolvar. Oh my god, that's not fair. This isn't random. <laughs> this um, is the Clockwork Giant, which you obviously saw. I had Wailing Soul, <laughs> Hammer of Wrath. Um. Honestly, I think I drew like my early game early. You know, I mean Well, I had I had double whirling zapmatic in my hand. That's pretty stupid. Like that's... if you had no and a flame tongue. So if you had nothing, I would have destroyed you. I did have a sort of justice in my hand, which I was gonna play the next turn. It was just so Faux Reaper, if Faux Reaper's on the board and lives, it's just game over. You can't oh, yeah. You can't do any. I was just gonna run it into the flame tongue, take no damage, and kill your yeah. stuff. It's just stupid. Faux yeah. Reaper plus Kelthazad. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I had uh, my Exna, so. Yeah. She destroys any minion damaged by her. Like, come on, that's OP, right? That's that's OP. Yeah. That's right. <laughs>